Hello, this is Lakshmi Gantiwari. In previous tutorial, we have seen how we have programmed micro SD card with the STM32 F7 discovery board. We have first created a file named as YouTube1.txt into the read write mode. Then we closed the file, and after that, then again we open this file into the read only mode, and then we read that file into a new uh, array buffer read array. But unfortunately, we couldn't send our file into the computer via UART. But in this program, we are going to use UART so that we can send this buffer into the computer and also we can see the directory uh, into uh, so that we can see the directories inside the micro SD card. So first of all, that we have to enable UART. So first, open your open your um, STM Cube MX uh, project, uh, which we have already uh, created in previous project. Then you need to enable UART one into the asynchronous mode, and it will enable a two pin here, PB seven and PB six. So we need another alternate function. Just press on Control and uh, then click on mouse. Then you will see P nine is blinking there. So what you can do, press, keep pressing control and just uh, press mouse button and hold it and drag UART1 into the PA9. Then it will just copy all the function of PB6 into a PA9. And then come to the configuration. Into the configuration, what we need, we need to set UART1 baud rate. Into the UART baud rate, let's set it. Uh, Okay, leave it as 115200 and make it save 8 bit, including the PRT bit. And uh, let's make it, in fact, 9600 baud rate. Okay, that's all what we need here to change. Click on OK, then regenerate this project one more time. Then it will add extra UART module into our Kale project. Close it and you can update it directly from here. Okay, just rebuilt this one. So it shows there is some error. What we need to do here, actually, again we need to recreate our project so that it can uh, add all the files. I think there is some bug into STM32 Cube MX. Uh, sometimes it shows uh, few header files not found, and if I regenerate these. Uh, um, re regenerate this project then it can find those missing files so regenerate it one more time okay you close here maybe this time you will see all the files will be find here and it will compile successfully so here you can see you are handle one uh, you are handle type def uart1 has been added here but unfortunately uh, it is giving some error here so if you are getting a same error so what you can do you just close your kale microvision and stm cube mx then reopen your project after regenerating your code then you will find key it will compile okay so we have added uart here and uh, now this uart handle type def is uh, uart1 and uh, here we can only call a function hell um, UART transmit but uh, I cannot use directly a printf functions that mean a formatted uh, a transmission of data into the computer so here we need to add uh, extra code to support uh, GNUC type printf function so here this is the code which uh, I have added to make a printf function working so you can add these four lines in your program and then after that you need to add these lines okay put car prototype then you will be able to use directly the formatted string so that we can send uh, uh, integers floatings and character types of data variables directly into the your computer so let's start coding from here okay so uh, let me show you from user code begin to First of all that, let's uh, type a printf. Let's first print a welcome here. Okay. 
so new line new line new line and let's make it carriage return okay at the end put the semicolon before putting the semicolon we need to make it new line and carriage return in fact I can give here tab sorry tab to tab and then again I can give here printf now what we need what we need to print some more new lines here printf okay now let's compile it and uh, see this into the Terra term now if I uh, load this code load it and then if I press reset button you can see here sorry let me let me make it little bit larger then again let me press a reset button see here SD card programming on KL microvision I think we need to print one more uh, star line here to make it consistent good now after this uh, SD card has been initialized here and then we have mounted the SD card here now let me create a some directory into the SD card okay a new directory let me create what I can do res equal to f underscore mk dir will make a new directory and uh, let's make a root sorry and the root directory what I can make here youtube underscore programming okay you cannot give a space here otherwise it won't take means it will take but it won't uh, uh, work properly okay after that we need to check this result okay so we can just copy it and paste it here if it gets any error so it will go into the while one loop instead of hard fault okay we have made the directory now uh, we can call the directory okay sorry now we can list the directory which are uh, uh, available onto the, into the SD card so uh, what we can do here before f open a new file we can make a res is equal to f underscore open dir it will open a directory okay to see how many files and folders are there inside SD card so we can give a dir it is a directory address and uh, it now it will asking it is asking a address where it want where it will look so it is a root address I'm giving here a root address so it will see a files and folders into the root address so we didn't define a dir so that first of all that we need to define a dir directory okay capital dir as dir I think now it is working fine then we need to check this reg if reg equal to equal to is ok that is fr underscore ok then we will list the directory so here what we can do we can call a printf ok so here we can say opening sorry let's give a two tab and then we can write here opening the directory okay sorry that is okay oops and uh, then we can print some new lines and care is written here let's make a sorry let's make a two line and one carriage return here and then we will call a function list directory list directory and uh, then we will pass the address of the directory variable and uh, after that we can close the braces of if and if it is not ok then uh, we can call here uh, simply we can paste 
uh, if it is not ok then go into the error one so here uh, we need to first define list directory ok function we need to write a list directory function uh, let's write a list directory function here void list uh, uh, directory ok it will take a dir star dir so I have written this whole code here ok now what we can do now we can compile this code you can copy this code into your project ok then uh, let me load this code ok now let me show you into Terraterm this is a Terraterm and I have loaded this program into the my, my board and let me press a reset button here see SD card programming and KL microvision opening the directory ok there are some more text files stm32.txt stm32f4.txt and there is folder st st folder and stm32f7.txt file is there and youtube1.txt ok so you have successfully programmed SD card in your stm32f7 device and uh, UART communication also in your stm32f7 device into the next tutorial we will take some more example thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials and subscribe this channel